After you've completed your PowerPoint and you have saved it as a PowerPoint show to your OneDrive, and you want to distribute it now to either students, parents via email, or you want to embed it in some piece of digital curriculum that you are using, you can do that by sharing a link, which is what I'm going to show you right now. So this has already been saved as a PowerPoint show. So we're going to flip on over to OneDrive where this PowerPoint has been saved. I'm going to go into my PowerPoint lessons folder where I save this. So you can see here um, the extension on a PowerPoint show, if you recall from the previous video, is .ppsx, and that means it is a PowerPoint show. And you can tell the icon even looks a little bit different than a regular PowerPoint presentation. So when you are ready to share your PowerPoint show, just make sure that you are sharing the correct one. Because in addition to having the PowerPoint show, you should also be saving your PowerPoint as a regular PowerPoint, which would be a .pptx. So we're ready to share this. And the reason that you might want to share this via a link as opposed to attaching it into an email or inserting it as an actual PowerPoint show is sometimes PowerPoint shows can be quite large depending on how much content you have in your PowerPoint and it won't go through in an email. So there's an alternative method to do this. So what you're going to do is you're going to hover on the PowerPoint show that you want to share and click on these three dots and that's going to give you all of these different options. You are going to click share. Now, if you're going to be sharing this with people outside of our domain, you're going to want to make sure that they can access it. So we need to change this from people in Limbrook Public Schools to anyone with the link. And this will allow anybody to click on that link and view your PowerPoint show. We're going to turn off allow editing. And while you can't really edit a PowerPoint show just for safety, we will uncheck this. And then we're going to click apply. Now, this is going to now help us generate a link that we can now put into either an email that we're going to be sending off, or we can paste this link into a digital resource such as OneNote or Edmodo. So we have the correct settings. Anyone with the link can view. We turned off editing. So we're going to click this button that says copy link. So this is this really long link that is generated for specifically this PowerPoint show, and we're going to click copy. So now we can compose an email and you can paste that link directly into an email or you can paste it into your digital curriculum. I'm also going to show you what this is going to look like when a parent or a student opens this via a, a link. I'm just going to open up a new window here and I'm going to paste that link that I just copied, that share link. And when a student clicks on this link or a parent opens this link, this is what it's going to be viewed as. So you can see you're not prompted to log in with the 365 account, which is good. And the PowerPoint show shows up. But because that we're viewing this in an online format, it's not going to run automatically. So you are going to have to make sure that students and or parents know how to run this show so that they can actually view it. So you may want to include instructions by telling them they are going to go to the slideshow option over here at the top and then they're going to click from beginning and then this will run the slideshow and all the parents or the teacher the students need to do is just click on each slide and the narration and the annotation that you've done will automatically run once they've run through your slideshow in order to get out of that slideshow all they need to do is hit escape on their keyboard and they'll be out of it so that's the way that you can share a link to a powerpoint show with your parents or with your students and if your powerpoint is very large this is a better way to do it um, so that you can send it off or embed it without taking up a lot of space in OneNote or whatever your digital curriculum resource that, that you're using with students is. And that's really about it.